Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV, wherever you are. And where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kind do, consider subscribing and turning on the notification button for more of these updates. Today, we're going to take you to the wealth and the richest family of Uganda, the person we know by the names of His Excellency Bobby Wine. And his brothers, Ediawe, Benjamin, and Mick Wine are one of the richest musicians in Uganda. And looking at their multi-million mansions as their sources of income, that real tells how expensive and how rich they are. So they are among the richest musicians in Uganda. And well, we're going to go through the St. Anne brothers and their multi-million mansions, which is the most expensive one so they're gonna ask which is the most expensive malt mansions or who is the most richest among the brothers is it Robert St. Amchagulani, Eddie Awe, Nick Wine or we're gonna have to know well once again thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV but do one thing subscribe and turn the notification all these updates will come to you timely uh, if you take a look into the St. Anne brothers, the St. Anne brothers who include Bobby Wine, Eddie Awe, Benjamin, Mick Wine, and Dax Vibes have proven to be part of the most wealthiest musicians in Uganda. We have taken time to look at all their sources of income and properties. So first we're going to start with His Excellency Robert Chagula in St. Anne also known as Bobby Wine, we're going to take a look at how net worth he is and his sources of income, each and everything about him. Well, Bobby Wine started his career as a ghetto child, as a ghetto child, and today he is one of the richest artists in East Africa. Recently, Forbes Africa released its list of richest African musicians. Bobby Wine topped diamond platinums with a net worth of 7.2 million US dollars, uh, that is in Ugandan shillings, 25 billion, and his investments in real estate being the owner of Semako Kilo Plaza and other apartments in Naguru, uh, Kanoni Gomba, those are all his apartments. And Bobby Wine also practices farming on his large scale land and owns Busavala Beach located along showers of Lake Victoria, I mean shores of Lake Victoria. And close paths to the singer say that he owns a quiet number of taxis and border borders in Kampala. He also owns yacht and speedboat. So he has border borders and he employs, that means he gives employment opportunities. He has, he, he's having border borders and taxis. That's a source of employment to people in Uganda. And looking at his cars, Bobby Wine has a collection proved them and most being luxury cars. So early this year, his supporters gifted him with a brand new bulletproof car, Toyota Land Cruiser. That is really expensive, we all know. And Bobby Wine's house has always been mentioned as top five most expensive and beautiful celebrity houses in Uganda. It is seated on a vast land of 10 acres of land in Magere. He also leads the national unit platform political party and in June he announced his candidates for the 2021 presidential elections. He participated in the 2021 election where he lost to the incumbent Yoweri Kaguta as a result which Shagulani and a large section of the public strongly disputed. Uh, not only that, he was also the member of parliament of Chadondo. So that is all about his excellence, Bobby Wine. There, there are more to say due to time. We can't go so much into details, but what we have to know that he is among the richest artists in East Africa. Uh, we're going to look at Eddie Awe St. Am, also known as Eddie Awe, a brother to Bobby Wine. And Eddie Awe is an elder brother to Bobby Wine. Is so and he is so popular because of his unique voice. He is one of those artists who are not so much into the music industry, but gain their wealth through different income sources, but still remain relevant. Yahweh is a professional journalist and businessman. Eddie Yahweh is the founder of Dream Studios located in Kamocha. He also owns a house located in Chireka, seated on over six acres of land. And then the Tuchigale hitmaker also says that 
the house have an area where a chopper can land, a music theater where he can entertain guests on a live band, a huge swimming pool, among other luxurious things. Putting music aside, Yahweh is a politician, but flopped twice in his bid to become Chira Municipality MP. Other than music studio, songwriting, producing, and singing, Yahweh revises to reveal his real source of income. I mean, Yahweh refuses to reveal his source of real source of income. Though he's a songwriter, producer, and singer, so he refused to reveal his real source of income. Yeah, that's all about Ediawe Chagulani. I mean, Ediawe Sentamu. And we're going to take a look at Henry Sentamu, also known as Banjoman. Banjoman is an uh, events organizer. Banjoman is the one of the pioneer members of the Firebase crew, and he is Bobby Wine's younger brother. Benjamin has accumulated a lot of wealth through entrepreneurship. He owns a string of rental houses, farms, and a number of pool tables in and around the city. At 33 years, Benjamin was able to build a house worth a billion in just seven months. So that's the story of Benjamin, how he is and how he's among the richest, how he makes the family of Chagula and Sentamu be the richest in Uganda. So Michael Mukwaya Sentamu, also known as Mick Wine, here is also another one coming from the family with a giant musician such as Bobby Wine. Mick Wine followed the footstep of his brother and continued working on becoming one of the hit makers and most appreciated musicians in the country. But his music was not well received by the public. Being one of the richest musicians, he, uh, his source of income remains unclear, but he owns a school known as Sulubada High School. Uh, Mick Wine owns a mansion located along Gaza Road. And speaking in an interview, Mick noted that he sacrificed a lot of his younger livelihood, saving the most money so that he could achieve his dream because uh, to achieve his dream house at some point in the future. With a living room, guest house, several bedrooms, aquarium, conference room, and a couple of rental spaces away from the main house, Mickey's investment in dreams in, uh, is a dream come true for himself and those that have supported him from zero. Well, that is it. Uh, that is all it from the celebrity we know, His Excellency Bobby Wine. And his family, and he's been recorded, and his brothers, Edia, where Benjamin and Mick Wine have been mentioned as one of the richest musicians in Uganda. Uh, that is derived from looking at their multi million mansions and their sources of income. Though we couldn't get, we, we couldn't go so much into details about their source of income, reason being that they have never really revealed some of their sources of income. People like Edia, where Mick Wine, Benjamin, though we know much about his excellence Bobby Wine, but some of the real sources of Ediawe, Benjamin, Mick Wine, what they really do has not yet come out, apart from them being musicians, singers, businessmen like that. Uh, well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching Progen Media TV. We'll keep on updating with more of this, but kindly do one thing, subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Progen Media TV.